This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now and here's a look at what's happening now. Just days ago, President Trump decided to pull troops out of Syria and now there are questions about whether the president will keep the U.S. in the Open Skies Treaty. The treaty proposed by George H.W. Bush allows member nations to fly supervised observation aircraft over one another's countries. Our partners at the Omaha World Herald report if the U.S. pulls out from the treaty, it would idle two Offutt-based jets and their crews. Congressman Don Bacon released a statement saying in part, planned upgrades to our observation aircraft and sensors will further improve our ability to monitor military activity in Russia. I understand that the administration is considering if we should remain in the treaty. I believe the U.S. was justified in terminating our participation in the INF treaty, but I've yet to see a compelling reason to withdraw from open skies. And I'm 3 News Now, weather alert meteorologist Audra Moore with this weather update. As we go into Thursday morning, temperatures aren't too bad just yet. Most of us still in those mid and upper 50s. We will see some scattered showers and thunderstorms, though, moving through the area. You may be woken up by some of those. There is a small chance one or two of those could be on the strong to severe side, but the overall severe threat is low. As we go through the rest of Thursday, we'll continue to see some hit and miss showers, mostly just rain then once we get past that morning wave. Temperatures by lunchtime, those of us in front of the front will make it back into the low and mid 60s. Behind the front, most of the day, temperatures will hang out in the 50s and then 40s. So here in Omaha, we get into those mid 60s. Shortly after lunch, the cold front moves through and then our temperatures just drop through the rest of the afternoon into the evening. Mainly, we're going to spend a lot of time in the 40s tomorrow and then temperatures, of course, even colder as we get into Friday morning. So 64, you're high, but that'll be right around lunchtime. Most of the afternoon will be much cooler than that. So make sure you bundle up and are prepared for that when you're leaving work or school on Thursday afternoon. So then temperatures only going to make it back into the mid 40s on Friday. We're going to spend the next several mornings, Friday morning, Saturday, Sunday morning, right around freezing across the area. So keep that in mind. You may need to be covering up your plants, bringing them in. Don't forget to bring in your pets. And since many of us, this will be the first freeze of the season. Don't forget to drain some of those outside pipes too. Temperatures make it back into the mid 50s for the weekend. A little bit more sunshine around each day. As we go into next week, temperatures will still mainly be in those mid to upper 50s. Want something spicy? Sliced jalapeno peppers, cream cheese, beef, bacon, and real cheddar and mozzarella cheese. It's my jalapeno papa pie. Add a one-topping pizza and cinnamon monkey bread for a real feast. Godfather's Pizza. Do it.